Hey, it's John Dow, the Conversation Coach, getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Just in time for that, it's another edition of Explain to Me, American Football. Special shout out to Frank for pushing me to do this video. I realize in most countries out there, this sport isn't quite as popular, but you're really missing out if you don't watch the game while you're in the United States. It's a good way to bond, gives you good talking points. It's a great way to meet American people and make new friends. So let's start really simple. You have the field, each end of the field is the end zone. When you manage to get the ball over there, we call that a touchdown. A touchdown can be accomplished by a pass or a run. Once you get a touchdown, that's six points. Right after you score a touchdown, you have two options. You can run another play, and if that play is successful, get another two points. Doing another play just consists of another run or pass, or the safer and more common bet is to kick the ball. Get it in between the goalposts, that's one extra point. So the question might be, why would you take one point over two? It's a lot harder to get the two versus the one. When you get to the NFL, it's all about putting up as many points as you can, as quickly as possible, as easy as you can. That's a basic breakdown of how points are scored. The other point that you need to know in order to understand and enjoy the game more is the concept of downs. Downs are like chances. So if you notice, if you start at one side of the field to go all the way to the other side of the field in just four downs is really difficult. But there's gonna be markers along the field that once you pass this point, your downs are renewed. So let's say it's on third down. You pass that marker, you're back to first down. You get four chances all over again. The downs refresh, they don't stack on each other. You'll never get more than four downs. The last thing I wanna talk about real quick is the strategy on fourth down. If the offense is very close to their end zone, on fourth down, they're not gonna run a play, they're gonna kick it. They're gonna to try to kick it way down the field so when the ball goes to the other team, they have to start further away. On the other hand, if the offense is very close to the defense's end zone on fourth down, maybe not close enough to run a play, they'll kick it for a field goal. If they kick the ball from this position and score, it's a three-point field goal. The positions of the player, you have the quarterback. He's the guy who has the ball who can throw it. He's kind of like the leader of the team. Then you have the receivers. They're going to run their routes and catch the ball. Then you have the O-line and D-line. It's a little confusing because the O-line actually plays defense. They're trying to protect the quarterback. And the D-line... They're actually doing offense. They're trying to take out the quarterback. All right, I could probably go more in depth in plays and routes and penalties and fouls. Now you got enough information to tune in on Sunday and enjoy the game. But if you do have any questions, let me know. And uh, while you're at it, let me know if you prefer these explanation videos over the English lessons. I'd be happy to try out some more new and dynamic things. Remember, if you are interested in online English lessons, email me at letstalk at calmdow.com. And if you're in Boston, want to meet face-to-face, -face, call me up, 617-870-3615. Calm Dow, let's talk.